Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And today we're going to take a look at uh, the Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini, the nozzle sticking. Uh, this is an issue that I've heard from a lot of people. They get very frustrated with it. This machine is supposed to have quick change nozzles. And it seems like the nozzle is really tough to remove after your first time using it. Well, this is a really common problem with a really, really easy solution. Now, before we get into this, if you would, please click that like and subscribe button and leave me a comment. Uh, those things really do help me with the YouTube algorithm. So if you like what I do here, if you find these videos useful, uh, please consider helping me out in doing those three things. So let's get started. Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini. They both use the identical nozzle setups, nozzle combination hot end. Uh, it should pop right out. Most times it does not. It's very tough to get it out. Uh, what you should be able to do is simply press that lever on the right hand side, sever the filament, pull your front plate right off, um, take off the silicon sock, set that aside. Uh, be careful when pulling that off so you don't rip it. Uh, then you're going to pop open uh, the two locking gates uh, on the lower half of the hot end nozzle assembly and to get a little bit different view here. Uh, but all you're going to do is go in and you can usually get this with your fingers. If you've ever had filament uh, back up on the system and it's gotten some filament on it, it can stick a little bit. So if it does that, you can use a small tool. I'm just going to use tweezers and pop this inner gate open. It works a little tough because I did get some molten filament on it. But once those are open, your hot end and nozzle assembly should pop right out. And as you can see here, I'm applying a lot of force to this and I cannot get it to budge. So what should you do? Well, the solution is not taking pliers and ripping it out. Absolutely, positively do not do this. This is the wrong way to do. Uh, you'll not only damage your nozzle assembly, but you will damage the interior of the printer if you pull this out forcefully. So let's take a look and first off, understand what's happening. That's how we figure out a solution to fix it. Now, what you're seeing here is the Bamboo Lab A1 nozzle assembly. The filament feeds through the printer and into the top of the hot end nozzle uh, combination unit. When you go to extract the nozzle and you press that lever on the right hand side, what you're doing is forcing a small blade to sever the uh, filament like you're seeing here and that will allow the nozzle to come out freely. Now when that filament is severed and we're going to take a look at this from the side now and you're trying to rock that nozzle assembly out, uh, that length of filament sticking up knocks into the printer assembly itself. It won't allow the nozzle to come out cleanly and this is what you're fighting right here so we need to fix this. The easiest way to fix this is to heat your nozzle up, tell the extruder to extrude a small amount of filament, and this is after you've cut the filament, but you're going to use the upper section of the filament to force that small section of filament that's in the hot end further down, like you're seeing here. And when that is forced down, then you can rotate out that nozzle assembly very, very easily, like it should come out. To fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to heat up the machine to about 210, 220. Once it's heated, you're going to sever using the right hand lever, uh, the filament, and then we're going to extrude filament. Now, the first time you hit the extrude filament button, it's going to make that short little jerk. You're going to hit it one more time. So it makes a one third rotation movement and that's it. You don't want to keep hitting that button. So two hits of it. The first one makes a small jerk. The second one does about a one third rotation. Once it's done that, you're going to go in and tell it to cool down that nozzle. You'll wait for the nozzle uh, to completely cool down. Then you're going to shut the unit off. Once it is shut off, you can remove that front plate safely. Then you're going to go in here, take off the insulation sock. Again, be careful not to rip it. Then we're going to go in and uh, open the two locking gates on the lower half. And again, if you can't get them with your fingers, just use a small tool like a pair of tweezers. And then you should be able to pull the hot end nozzle assembly out with your fingers with, uh, pretty easily. And as you can see here, what we did did force that 
uh, filament down into the nozzle and that's why it came out easily. Before you reinsert the nozzle or put a new one in, make sure there's no dried filament on that lower section. If there is, use a brass brush to clean it off. This will help keep uh, the uh, loading gates from sticking. But you're going to make sure your loading gates are open. Insert the nozzle as shown and then just close everything up. Shut that. And if and you got to make sure it's seated fully or those gates won't shut for you. It has to be completely seated in there for those gates to shut easily. Put your silicon sock back on. Insert it, the uh, nozzle through the hole in the bottom and then just kind of rock it into place. Once that's on there, all you have to do is put the front plate back on and you are back in business. So if you're experiencing the dreaded sticking uh, nozzle and hot end assembly on your Bamboo Lab A1 or A1 Mini, this is your fix. Um, if you like this video, again, please click that like and subscribe button and leave me a quick comment. Thank you very much and I'll have a new video for everyone soon.